What is it, sweetie? I lost my tablet pen. I can buy you another one. Just wait. I need to make this video, like, now. Sweetheart, I know you've got a lot of work to do, but I can't drop everything every time you lose your tablet pen. I mean, uh, how many times has it been now? At least... Seven? And are you sure you've checked every spot in the house? Yeah, and I've even sweeped the basement, which, by the way, it's your turn to feed him. Can I come out yet? I know for a fact I gave him a bunch of cobwebs to finish. Which better be gone when I check them! <laughs> Look, honey, I'm really sorry, but I've got a lot of work to do, okay? Okay. So, what if I said that I love you? You and it would mean a lot to me if you did this with me. Stop. And you love me too. Fuck. You love me too. Fuck off. You do. Go away. I get you Fine. smiling. Fine. I get you smiling. Fine. I'll do it. I'll go. Okay, I think that's everything. Now that I've got my tablet pen back, welcome guys to another <coughs> to another <coughs> to another sponsored video. <laughs> Before you click off though, hi, I'm Hyojin, aka known as Squizzy on the internet. If you're interested in how I got into this animation slash art game in the first place, you might want to stick around and be prepared to listen to some baby Hyojin lore. Also, I'll be talking about the tablet I used to create this latest animation, which was brought to me by XP Pen. So, without further ado, <laughs> Oh, okay. Hello. Going way, way, way back in time to the whittle days of Shoujin, I was obsessed with animation. My childhood memories are filled with so many hours of watching Saturday morning cartoons, Ghibli movies, and Disney movies. You know, back when Disney wasn't an unbearable solace company that continues to feed off the nostalgia of my generation by only creating remakes of the original 2D movies and adding nothing new except for my growing disappointment in them and will continue to do this until nothing is original anymore and the only happiness that sparks from that evil mouse will be the Elsa and Anna doll my kids receive for Christmas made by the small hands of a child living in a third world country forced into labour. But you know, I really did enjoy the 2D animation in Lion King. I started drawing when I was two. My mom continues to make it seem like I was a prodigy just because I managed to figure out how to draw a smiley face on a cloud. To this day, she still brags about it to anyone she meets. Kinda embarrassing, but also flattering, so thank you, mom. Getting into art at such a young age, I was already confident and certain that this was going to be my career, so I was about six at this time, going into kindergarten, and it only started evolving and branching out to animation when I was about 12. I used to read a lot of Captain Underpants when I was a kid, and if you didn't read those books, <laughs> fuck, you missed out. There was a bit that this writer would do in these books where he would draw Captain Underpants getting ready to pummel the villain and the next page turn would be his fist slamming into their face. And as a kid, you would flip these pages over and over and it would create this small illusion of movement. And my tiny child's brain exploded. I started doing it on my own books or any paper I could find. I would start off with like stickman sequences, then move on to things like animating Pokemon, which I was <laughs> really into back in the day. I was often scolded for wasting so much paper because my parents would often find me in my room surrounded by tiny drawings and a tiny baby Hyojin amazed at the concept of animation. Time skipping forward my cringy early DeviantArt days, my first steps into making a YouTube account, me graduating high school early, me getting into uni, me graduating uni and then getting my degree, and finally making it as a full-time freelancer, here I am! And here I am with my sponsored review of XP 
PHP pen. Although it may be sponsored, I will be brutally honest with this review and give you guys the most truth I can give. The video you see here is a speed process of the latest animation that I created using the XP pen tablet. And before I start the review on that tablet, just letting you know that the recording process for this animation not including the storyboard, was about 12 hours long, so I couldn't really fit all of that into a seven minute review. But you get a good chunk of uh, how I work, so yeah. Onto the review. In the box I received, I found the display tablet, the pen, a pen holder with extra nibs, a connection cable so you can connect this to your Windows or MacBook computer, a free cleaning cloth, and a drawing glove. The first thing I noticed about the XP Pen Artist 15.6, Christ, that's a mouthful, was how light it felt. It it's made of kind of a plastic material, but it doesn't feel cheap. It definitely has that middle ground of feeling premium, but also lightweight. There's definitely a lot of room on the XP pen. The tablet feels really good to draw on, especially since the surface of the screen has kind of a matte feel to it. So there's a lot of grip. Although I do wish that I didn't have to press as hard on the screen to get my lines in. You know, it's really infuriating for me personally because I work in really quick, precise strokes. Even when I change the tip feel to be a little bit softer, it didn't really help too much with the connection between the pen and the screen. So I found myself undoing more often than I usually do. The shortcut keys on the side of the tablet definitely are a wonderful accessory. It made it very convenient to zoom in and out of the canvas and also undo. There are also buttons to change the brightness of the screen tablet, which I also found was a neat addition. The XB Pen Artist 15.6 has great colors. It renders the colors more clearly and vividly and my eyes were crying tears of joy. My other Cintiq I used before this is a Wacom 13 HD and compared to it, the XP Pen definitely has more color range, if that makes sense. I don't know, it's very pretty. So the tablet size is pretty big, but I can see myself using it for travel. It feels pretty light and not at all clunky. However, that just might be a me thing because I do bring a lot of bags whenever I go overseas. <laughs> so to sum up pros and cons, pros. There's a lot of space on the tablet, despite the fact that it's bigger than my old Cintiq, it feels light so I can see myself working overseas with it. It comes with express key buttons, so I don't need to buy a separate remote Wacom, you overpriced making me broke, snotty stupid fu- Another cool pro is the red dial interface. It definitely gives a lot of shortcuts to my work, like if I need to control brush sizes or zoom in and out of a canvas, it feels much better to spin a dial than to press a button. Not many cons when it comes to this tablet, I'm gonna be honest. It's very good for the price, especially for artists looking for a cheaper alternative to Wacom. However, there is at least one con to the XP pen I can list. The pen doesn't feel as great as a Wacom when I'm trying to draw more precise lines. The pen has a slight bounce to it that kind of slows my line art process down. I would like the pen to be slightly more firmer so I can get those really quick sketches done. So to conclude this review, the XP Pen Artist 15.6 did not disappoint, and in fact, far exceeded my expectations. I've grown up with Wacom tablets almost my entire life, and they've definitely left a dent in my savings. I'm a pretty stubborn person, so when I've been working or using one brand my entire life, it's hard to make me budge. The XP Pen is less than $400 and excels in pretty much everything. It's definitely worth the price, and I feel like I've been using the word definitely a lot, but I feel like the industry standard shouldn't be Wacom, and artists shouldn't feel like Wacom is the go-to when they want to make great animations. I mean, you guys can go Disney mode with XP Pen. It's super great. So thank you for sponsoring me and letting me use this wonderful tablet, which I will now replace my Cintiq with because I love it. That's it. That's the end of the video. I really actually genuinely do love this tablet. So you guys should check out XP Pen's other products. They're well worth the price. So leave a meme suggestion in the comments below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's not my usual upload, but I thought a change in scenery couldn't hurt. And yeah. Remember to practice social distancing and wash your hands, you dirty little fuck.